I define engineering as it's a way of thinking. It teaches you how to think, how to approach a problem, and how to figure out what you know, what you don't know, and how to come to a, a solution that will get you through that issue. And so that's not only applicable to engineering, but just to really any life situation. And so it's so applicable to athletics and academics and just social situations. And um, you know, it's a great major that you just get to be challenged in every day, and that's what I love about it. Failure or success, it teaches you both. The biggest lesson I've ever learned from failure is the sun will rise tomorrow. And just in terms of my faith, and I always talk to my parents about failure and my close friends, and the quote that you know my dad always repeats to me, no matter what happens, is the sun will rise tomorrow. And tomorrow's a new day, a new opportunity to grow, and another chance to do what you love and attack that thing that you did fail at. So I think that's the biggest lesson I've learned is to just get up the next day and just keep pushing and keep striving. The minute our, I guess, pre-warm-up song starts and the minute we just run out of that tunnel, the feeling you get is honestly indescribable. It's, it's really hard to put into words. Just the support that we get from everyone around us, the butterflies you get in your stomach, and it never, it never ceases and it's the same thing every time. You think you would get used to it, but you really don't. And it's something I hope I don't get used to because those butterflies make you know, all the training and the hardships so worth it. We are one of the best environments in the nation. You can't fit you know, 3,000 people in such a small, compact environment and you know, not feel pressure if you're the other team. It's like a seventh man on the floor and it's the best. One of my favorite moments was coming on top, um, beating uh, Minnesota in the fall. But I would say even more than that was the first time I was ever on the floor. I still remember that like it was yesterday. It was our first home opener and it was, that's a memory I'll never forget. So I think that was even more, even a better memory for me than wins or losses, just being out on that floor for the first time. Everyone knows what their role is and what role they're expect to fulfill and play. And we don't have one top dog who's demanding things left and right and says, okay, it's this way or the highway. We don't have that. And so everyone, is equally balanced and everyone just kind of meshes. It's a small group. I think it might be one of the smallest groups Purdue's ever had, but through the spring, I think being so small, it kind of, whether we liked it or not, forced us to be that small, compact group and really get to know each other. But you can have Sheridan or Zaria play on the outside, play on the right side. You can put Danielle anywhere in the front row. And I think that'll keep other teams guessing and it makes my job slightly easier because I'm 100% comfortable telling Danielle to go on the right side and Sheridan to go on the outside and vice versa and they're comfortable with it too so it just makes everyone's lives easier. When the going gets tough um, it kind of makes you just stop and think about okay where did I start and where am I now and it lets you kind of calm down and take a step back and realize okay you've come so far since day one there's not a chance that one day can be as bad as it can be so I think it really keeps everything in perspective when you realize where you started. I think that pressure just pushes us to be the best that we can be every day and as long as I end every day knowing that I did what I could, then I can't have any regrets. So yes, I think about the pressure, but I think it's getting better.